Okay folks, here we are today. We're doing a little bit of tiller maintenance. So it's been wet and I tried tilling to work up some ground and actually get some stuff leveled out and probably pushed my tiller a little too far. It's a tough one, but uh, I stretched out the belt and it uh, it quit working. It kind of smoked it a little bit and got disengaged. So went up to uh, my local store and got a belt. Kenzie's got the new one right here. And we're gonna put it on here and get this thing going. Okay. All right. So Kenzie, we got to go from pulley to pulley first. All right. Yeah. So you want to go ahead and take care of that. Okay. So she's got the she's going around the big drive pulley that goes into the transmission. You're gonna come up over those brackets. Yep. And she's gonna go over the engine pulley right here. I've got the idler pulley right here that uh, we're gonna put on next because that's what's going to actually put some tension on this belt okay there you go she's got that popped on there she's a rock star all right so this idler pulley i've got the the bolt going through there and um once we get that on there and we have it sitting on the belt we need to slip this little guy on the back of it that actually kind of holds that belt in place so that way it doesn't shift around from side to side and to try to jump off of the pulley it keeps it on there and lined up we're going to have another one on the engine side and you'll see that in a moment okay all right, so Kenzie, we're going to, this needs to come up, and we're going to put this pulley right in here. There you go. I'll lift up on this. Do you want to put this in place? Sure. Okay. Well, a, little, a little snug. We're probably going to have to do some adjusting. Tell you what, I'll get that through the bracket, and then you can line everything up. Okay. The bracket on the back side there just needs to go onto the uh, gotcha. onto the bolt, and that nut is going to go on the back side of it. Okay. While she's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get her some wrenches ready. It's a 916 on this one, so it'll be a 916 from the front. She's done what uh, what every person that works on stuff does multiple times. She's dropped the nut for the first time. This is common practice, folks, so don't uh, don't be alarmed. The side story to this is I told mommy three times yesterday, don't knock over all my bolts. Yeah, she knocked over all my bolts. We had to do a search for about a half an hour to find everything. We're hoping everything's here. We think there is, but we're not 100%. All right, so she's tightening that up by hand. You want to do that first because um, that way you don't cross-thread it. If you go in there and try to do that just with a wrench, a lot of times you might cross-thread um, that and... You know, even though some folks think that's nature's Loctite, it's not. Because then you can never get it off again. Alright, you ready? Okay, so this ratchet is going to be for the front. And then this uh, 916th wrench is going to go on the back. We're going to hold this in place. Alright, go ahead and turn a little bit. There we go. Now, tighten her up. You're good. It's going the right way. You want it to go this way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Remember, it goes with the hands of the clock. She might be nervous. She's never been on screen before doing mechanic work. It's usually always makeup and stuff. This is the opposite. So for some reason this bolt has a long bit of threads on it, but that's okay. I guess that's just to make sure that it gets good and tight. Or in German, good and tight. You like that, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll handle all the jokes. You have one every once in a while, you can kick in, I guess. So, Wynn got the belt, and it's close but not exact so we're probably going to have to do some adjustment on this that may come in a later video we'll see 
Okay, we're gonna check out, see, just show you how to do this install first. Told you, long, long threads. So I've had this tiller about five years now, and I think this is the first time I've ever had to change this uh, change this belt on here. And you can you can ask Kenzie or my wife, either one. I'm hard on stuff, so it's pretty amazing that it's uh, first time I've had to change that. We're good and tight. We're good and tight. Good and tight. <laughs> okay. Can I get? Can I just check it just to be sure? Okay. I don't know what the torque spec is on here. I'm gonna give it an uh or two. Ugh. Okay. Maybe one uh. All right, so cool. Check out how that is keeping that line. That belt cannot jump off of there if it just, you know, says heck with it. I'm giving up. It can't do it. All right, so now it's running all the way around here, and um, yeah, so we're in good shape. Okay, so the next thing we would actually put on here is our guard to keep um, the belt on the front near the engine. So yeah, so you got the right thing. I'll put that bracket on there. I'll find you some bolts here. Yep, so this is already in here. So here, check it out. If you slide it back to here, it's kind of, oh, oh, dang. That's what happens whenever you got your dog out here with you and he's on a tether. Whew, he just found something good. All right, so yeah. So here's, we want to have this on the inside. Okay, there we go. So she's putting that guide on there. Let's get an up close view of that. So she's putting that guide on there, and she, this is going to make sure that those uh, that that belt stays down on that uh, pulley for the engine, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of torque and some speed coming off of that. Um, so we want to make sure that uh, that that belt is going to stay on there, okay? It won't go on. It won't go on. It's well, why on. don't you uh, slide it back this way and then flip it? I bet it goes the other way. Probably. Sometimes you got to size up here. There we go. Let's try that out for size. Okay, look at Max back there. He's getting curious about everything. Like that? Yep, but this one has to go on the bottom of the belt, remember? Bottom. Yeah, there we go. All right, now slide it that way. That makes it a lot more easier. <laughs> makes it just easier. <laughs> All right, here's your first bolt. You want to put that one in the top? Now, I will tell you, Kinsey has the ultimate advantage with this because she has some small hands. Okay? But we'll see because it is tight and she hasn't, you know, she's only dropped one thing so far. So, I mean, she's due. Let's be honest. If I don't drop at least 10 things while doing a mechanic job and lose at least one t uh, 10 millimeter socket, I don't think it's the job actually getting done. second one. I'm going to double check this one, okay? You're golden. Okay. So now we're going to line that one up and you're going to put that one in too, okay?
Thanks. Stretchy because this belt is a little too tight. Yeah, we were talking about that before, that it's a little snug. Okay, so I got you all set up. This one is a half inch wrench. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squeeze this down. You're gonna put that on there and tighten it up, okay? Get it all the way on there. You always wanna make sure the socket is all the way onto your bolts or on a nut because if it's not, then it could round it out. That's how that's how most bolts get rounded out anyways. It's not on there straight or it's not all the way on the head of the bolt or the, on the nut. You want an extension? Would that help? Yeah. Okay. Always use the tools that you have, folks. If you got an extension and it makes it easier to get into some place, do, do it. it. All right, there you go. Huh, Back away. Mm. Whoa, see, you looked at the camera. <laughs> this isn't like the makeup videos, is it? Besides, you usually don't have like grass stuff in your hair whenever you do the makeup videos. Or do you? I don't know, maybe that's the hippie look. All right. So, before we give that one a couple ooga oogas, we're going to tighten up this one too, right? Mm -hmm. Always have both bolts in before you begin to tighten up. Okay, if you tighten up the first one and then the second one wasn't even in, in yet, they may not be aligned correctly, and then you're going to have all kinds of problems being able to get that in there. Make sure they're good and tight. Good and tight. Here we go. Gave that one a one ooga ooga. There's another ooga ooga. I'm gonna set that back in the tray. All right, cool. All right, so the next thing that goes on is the shield. Now this covers up all the belts, so that way you don't get kind of all kinds of stuff in there. But we need to check to see if the tension is right on this thing first, okay? So we're going to do that before we continue on, um, just to be sure of that um, on the, on this particular application. Because actually, the secret is, is we did this yesterday, and we know that this belt's too tight, and we have to do some adjustments. So um, there's just two bolts that go on the top of this, a nut that goes here on a stud, and then you're back in business, and you're ready to get your garden all tilled up. All right, so next time... Uh, until next time, we'll see you.